Hello and good morning everyone. My name is Lara or Lara Likes Mascara. I hope you are all doing well today. This video is a kind of a part two. I filmed it on a different day and everything, but it's very much in the same vein as a video that I posted recently, which was a sort of makeup, chores, washing my brushes, reorganizing type of day. And I said in that video, there's a lot more stuff I have to do. So if you enjoyed this, please let me know and I will do a part two. And enough people said they enjoyed it and I had enough makeup chores to do that here I am sitting down for a part two. So what I'm going to do first off is reorganizing my makeup. I said I would do that last time. I said I had like a bunch of stuff to put away and then I didn't do it. So you will see that, some reorganization. I am also repressing a product and then I am trying to create some new lip balms so you'll get to see how that goes i already filmed this part of the video so i know how it went you'll have to stick around to find out but yeah let's just get into it and i hope you enjoy i will give you a little teaser these are the lip balms that i attempted to make i'm not going to show you what they look like though you will have to see if it was a giant fail or a giant success but yeah quick intro because this is a fairly long video i will see you in the outro Good morning, hello. Okay, so normally things would look better than this. This is like, this is chaos, right? And I normally would have tidied things up a little bit before starting filming, but I wanted to be real. I really wanted this to be like a full reorganization thing. So I'm gonna show you what I actually do. Normally when I film, like the backdrop you just saw, it was all, it was all clear, right? It was just this white thing and a little plant, maybe the jewelry box. Those are the things that I usually keep in frame. But in reality, when I'm going about my, my daily life, like this is what's actually on the dresser here. This is where all of these things belong because yeah, like I don't have space for my makeup other than that. I keep my makeup here and I keep it in the first drawer on, in this dresser on the left side. So I don't have like a dedicated filming room with all of my makeup or a dedicated shelf or container. I just make do with the space I have. So anyways, enough rambling. Let's sort this out a little bit and get to reorganizing. I figured I would do this first and then I would do the other miscellaneous tasks that I have. So first of all, I'm gonna remove the lamp. I uh, don't really, not looking great today, so I will not be on camera, but this microphone, this is what I'm using right now. So obviously, <laughs> you know, I'm using it. Having some tea this morning. Okay, where to begin? All right, let's start with these. So this looks kind of weird, but these are zip ties. I got some new lights for my balcony, but we need zip ties to put them up. We haven't gotten around to actually putting them up yet, but I'm gonna put this to where the lights are and sort that out later. I will insert a picture, hopefully trying to get that up tonight. What else doesn't need to be here? I just recently started using this finally. I wasn't using a setting spray for ages, but I'm like, you know what? <laughs> it's time to start using it. Why am I still keeping it in the box? So I'm gonna... get rid of this. Got this from Buns, of course. What else can we do here? This can go in here. This. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's gonna go there. There. Let's move the microphone over somewhat. I suppose the tea doesn't need to be on there. <laughs> okay, I think the next order of business is actually putting this makeup from Shauna away because I said I would do that last time and I didn't. So there's that. There's also putting away these palettes. So let's get that all out. These are handy bags to keep, so I'm going to keep them, but I think... I'm just going to tuck them away in my makeup drawer. I also have some like receipts and miscellaneous stuff. So I can put that in a drawer. 
the goal is to not have myself in this video but i feel like that's actually going to be kind of impossible because i have to put stuff away and i'm further from the camera than i usually am usually i can just like go like that but i wanted to show the whole thing so i haven't washed my hair in a while okay keep that in mind if you do happen to see my face nothing here so I'm gonna put this MAC blush here sure that can go there where should the tower 28 lippy go I feel like I should display it because otherwise I won't think to reach for it hmm this is kind of all discombobulated I think this one used to be up here actually yeah there we go okay so maybe I should stand this up on its side with my merit highlight is that okay? A couple of Fenty products. Oh, there's also this brush. So I think I'm gonna put the Fenty products at the bottom here. And I wanna get some more use out of this NARS bronzer. I wanna compare it to my e.l.f. one. So I'm going to bring that into my makeup bag and I'm actually going to be taking this out of my makeup bag, even though I just put it in my Shop My Stash in the last organization video I had. I just haven't been reaching for it because I am trying to, for bronzer, I'm trying to use the bronzer from the e.l.f. duo for blush. I have a, quite a few blushes I'm supposed to be working on in my Project Pan slash Gravier Project Pan. And honestly, I'm not loving that highlight. I have it on my eyes today. I do like it. <laughs> on the eyes as an eyeshadow nice shimmery color but as a highlight i feel like it's just not meshing well with my blush so yeah this is gonna have to go back in but bringing this out putting those in there i also have been wanting to compare this wet n wild shadow to some other eyeshadows i've acquired recently because I don't love this formula, but I kept it because I didn't have anything else that had that kind of shimmer, that like loose glitter, but I wanna compare it to this Vesca Moonlit Dream. And to this Fenty Beauty uh, Diamond Balm. So. Mm, okay, they're all pretty different actually. Can you see that? This is the Vesca. That is the Fenty. I was hoping for a more dispersed glitter like that one, but it's not. It's really different. It does have more of a color to it and then a bit of shimmer, whereas that is just like straight up glitter. So looks like I'm going to be holding on to the NARS one for a bit longer at least. Where should this go in my collection? The Vesca? Should I stand it up maybe? Hmm. I don't love to have a ton of things standing because, you know, <laughs> I turn this around like things fall over. But what are you gonna do? Okay, and this used to be in here. Actually, I think it used to be here. Maybe we can try to... Yeah, how's that? Actually, I think it used to be with the MAC. How's that? That's okay, right? Okay, and we actually have more space right here for something else. Should I try to fit the Huda Nude Light palette in here somewhere or should I like put it away with the rest of my palettes? Hmm, what if I tried to put it there? That's not terrible. I kind of dig that. Or I could put it here. No, let's let's try it like that. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so those are all of the things from Shauna put away. I mean, I have other things from her, but they are currently in my makeup bag, the foundation and the concealers. I have those in my makeup bag. So now we just need to put away these palettes in my palette container. Okay, so here's where all of my palettes are and just generally bigger items like this Fenty Beauty Duo. So a lot of stuff in here as you can see. 
these are kind of the things that don't get reached for enough but i think i'm going to put the palettes right at the bottom because i don't have a ton of huge palettes and these are all on the bigger side Actually, I don't know about those. Okay, ColourPop, Elf, ColourPop, um, Collection, ColourPop, Now Juvia's Place, Hourglass, oh, Went Wild, Juvia's Place, Fenty, Collection, uh, Personnel, NYX, CoverGirl, Okay, I think we've got it. Yeah, it's it's quite full, as you can see. But it all fits, and there is some remaining space, not that I want to fill it. <laughs> so I can slide that back in now. Do I really want to keep these socks? Sorry, this is in the drawer. Would I wear these? might chuck them i mean not chuck them i would put them on buns or something i like barely have space for this stuff okay okay i kind of think that that's as much as can be done here these are nail polishes and hair accessories and that can probably go in a drawer these lululemon and girlfriend collective tags yeah the rest of it, I kind of like to keep these things out and together. So that's it. This is my jewelry box, new from Buns. I had really been hoping to be able to put this in a drawer, but I simply do not have space for it. So for now, it's just going to <laughs> add, join everything else on the dresser. So like, yes, it's cluttered. I still have a million things on here but at least it's organized. Things are put away. There's a couple other things that I wanted to put away. This is the Amika birthday set. I said last time that I would be putting this away. However, I didn't. So this is gonna go in my bathroom. I actually will put that there now. This, these are some Lush products that I will also put in my bathroom because I still have some bags here and it's really time to put this stuff away got a couple of gift cards do you guys keep gift cards in your wallet or do you keep them like somewhere safe and then you use them when you need them because i feel like whenever i actually need my gift cards like i don't have them i don't walk around with them in my wallet and so sometimes like i happen to be at a store where i have a gift card too anyways why am i blabbering on i'm just gonna put them in my drawer so this is my bag with all of my unused items like unopened makeup and skincare products it looks kind of ridiculous it's because, well, partially it's because I have a backup of my one of my favorite perfumes. I have a backup contact solution thing. So those are both big. And then I have a couple of other skincare products. There's actually no makeup in here except for one brow product and two lip things and a mascara. So anyways, I'm just gonna take these two Lush items and put them in there. <laughs> So that's all my new stuff. I still have two bags to put away that, that have just been like sitting on the floor in my room for ages. One of them, well, they're both clothing. I just have a hard time putting away new clothing, you know, especially if I haven't worn it yet, but I'm gonna have to deal with that. That I think is all of our reorganizing for today. Now let's get on to the other makeup tasks. Next makeup task. Okay, you're thinking, hey, didn't you already repress that? Yes, I did, but guess what? It fell again and it shattered again. And this time even worse than before. Like, I don't even know how I'm gonna get that stuff in there. I think this is just a case of like using it. Like I'll, this morning I used it. So I sort of put my brush in there. That's why it's a little bit sparser right there. But I'm gonna try to scoop up a little bit into there and repress what I can. So just using this little nail tool. Oh, it like fully broke and shattered everywhere. It's, whoop. it's because I have to do my makeup in the bathroom. That's just like where my setup is. And the counter space in there is pretty thin. 
so I accidentally bump things all the time. So much of my makeup has taken a tumble. same there a little bit okay I think that is good every time we're losing a little bit of product <laughs> by the end of this like imagine I repress this like once or twice a month by the end there's just no product left because it's all just like on the floor or has been lost try to press that in somewhat All right, there we go. It has been repressed once again. As you can see, tons of eyeshadow all over the place, but I am happy with that for now. This is just, it's causing me a lot of grief, this one. Annoying. Okay, the final task. I mentioned this in my last one, but I was kind of too afraid to do it, and hence why I've been putting it off for so long. I never reach for potted lip balms. I think this is a super cute container, but as you can see, I never reach for it like it's barely been touched so i figured maybe if i try to transfer it over into this nars lip balm container then i would use it more because i recently finished this off so that is what i'm going to do i have to melt this down wish me luck let's move over to the kitchen and give it a try over there okay so here we go this is the stove, it's got some water in it. I'm gonna turn it up to almost high. I am following this video, I can link it down below. It's called Refilling Your EOS Lip Balm. Obviously I'm not using EOS Lip Balm, but same basic idea I'm assuming. Here is the e.l.f. Lip Balm. And I'm basically, I don't think I'm gonna do it with all of this, just in case it doesn't work out. Maybe I'm gonna do about half. So what I do, according to these tutorials I have watched, is I put it in here. This is, you know, stove safe. So I put the lip balm in here, it melts, and then I put it into the different tube. I am quite nervous about this whole process, honestly. I am not one who generally like puts literal glass on the stove top, but I checked with my partner, he said it's fine. And yeah, the tutorials have said it's not a problem. I'm also nervous because I have all of this like equipment, my laptop, my microphone, my camera in the kitchen, which is definitely out of the ordinary. But anyways, let's get to it. So I'm just using this tool again. Ooh, wow, that's a lot deeper than I expected. Oh my God, this is so weird. Okay, there is half of it. Wow, it looks so little. Let's take a bit more because that wasn't quite half. Oh. Oops. This is hard to do without three hands, but I mean, most people don't have three hands, so they must manage it somehow. This is taking a lot longer than it would if I wasn't filming, but at the same time, I doubt that I would do this if not for YouTube. Let's consider that done. So that is almost boiled. When it is, I will stick this in there. Okay guys, moment of truth. Here it is. Okay, <laughs> so far so good. How can I tell if it's melting? Oh, you can't see it at all. but it's kind of hard to show you what it's looking like from the vantage point I was at before. So it's melting for sure, but it's just kind of taken a while. It's also hard to capture. Wow, 
I do not recommend doing this at home. <laughs> this was so challenging. I managed to extract the glass thing out of the pot, but it was really hard. I had to take like a dish towel and I got some water in there accidentally, but I don't know how to avoid that. Anyways, the tutorial I was looking at, it was with EOS lip balms, which is easier because you can just like take a spoon and scoop it out. But obviously I'm pouring it into this little NARS lippy which is a lot more difficult. So I'm gonna have to try to take like a, a tiny spoon and get it in there. I've twisted this all the way down, but anyways, let's give it a try. Here goes nothing. I feel like this is not gonna work. It also smells really not great, like very plasticky. Can you see this? Oh man. This is so hard. It's like, it's hardening as soon as it gets in there. Ooh, how do I get it to go in? Do you know what I mean? Like, like all the way down. Guys, is this a lost cause? It might be a lost cause. What if I use other things? Let me let me try to get something else. Okay, this thing from before. Just try to like push it in there. Oh my god. How do people do this? How do you get it down? This is a disaster. <laughs> a disaster. I think I should have watched some tutorials with how they do like a lip balm thing rather than EOS. Oh, okay y'all, I think, I think I have sorted some things out. I think I actually did this NARS lippy fine. Like there's product in there. I mean, it's not twisting down or up. Oh, oh, do you see that? Let's see if we can zoom in. Look, it's going up and it's going back down. Okay, so the issue is there's just not that much space in here and I couldn't get it to go down. I should have poured it directly in here with the glass container I just sort of tried to like pour it in that obviously didn't work so yeah I've got some stuff in here I'm just gonna have to try to use this and with this stuff I'm actually going to try to pour it in to that container or should I try to pour it into oh, you guys I have an idea okay so I have this baby lips from Maybelline that I'm basically finished see there's just like a little nub left what would happen if I poured it in here? See how much space there is? I think I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna do it. I'm kind of combining two different lip balms, but YOLO, I feel like this stuff is just basically going in the garbage otherwise, so I might as well try to do something with it. Yeah, the hard part is going to be pouring it in here. So maybe I'll wear like oven mitts or something. I think it's probably melted, so let's give it a try. Okay, honestly, I think that this, wow, look at that. I think that this product just like, I don't know if I'm not getting it hot enough or it solidifies too quickly, but it doesn't seem like it's working like the ones in the video. So I'm just going to call that a day. I'm gonna stick these two in the fridge and <laughs> I'll show you what they look like later. And I am just going to wipe out this container because I don't think there's anything we can do with that. I tried my best. Okay, so I haven't actually looked to see how these are after I stuck them in the fridge yesterday, but let's take a look. Oh, all right, this is what we're looking like. So it doesn't seem to go down, like that's kind of the, the lowest it goes. I can wind it up a bit. Ooh, okay. Oh, <laughs> it looks like it mixed a bit with some of the NARS balm I couldn't get out at the bottom there. But yeah, I am able to scroll it up. Let's see if I can. Okay, it scrolls back down. So that is great. 
Oh, the texture has definitely changed. Do you see how thick and gloopy that is? Ugh. Is it supposed to stay the same? Because it's definitely more like thick and viscous than it was. Should I put some on my lips? I already have a lip gloss on, which is very unusual for me. Mm. Oh my God. When I was doing this yesterday, it smelled so bad. It just smelled like, like the chemicals in the lip balm, but not like, not the good stuff. It just smelled very fake in my apartment. It like stunk up the whole apartment. I had to like open the door and just air it out after. So my final word on this is it was not really a success. I was probably doing things wrong, but I am not like a DIY type of person. I'm sure some people could have done this better, but I just don't do this kind of thing often. I don't have much patience for it. And so if you are like me, I would not recommend trying to DIY your lip balm. If watching this, you were like, oh, obviously you did that wrong and that wrong. And you know, you know the problem and you could have done it better, then you should probably try it. But um, I am not that person. I don't know why I thought I was that person. I just wanted to give it a go. I don't regret it, but I won't be doing it again. And then the baby lips. Oh man, this looks even more disgusting. Why did it freeze this way? Look at that. That's so weird. I do not understand. Anyways, oh man, and you can see the baby lips that was left underneath. <laughs> uh, well, I will never be a DIY channel, but I commend all of you who are good at this kind of thing. You will probably see these in my project pan or being decluttered. I don't really have high hopes for these products. <laughs> I'm really happy with the organization though. And also side note, I tried the orange blush today. I really like it normally. I think I went too heavy with it though. I feel like it's just not really matching my coloring right now. It's quite obvious. I used the Zama shade in this Warrior 2 palette from Juvia's Place. And I love that. I'm actually thinking that all three of those eyeshadows I can use as blushes. And I've been wanting an orange blush for a while now. So I feel like I have it. I wonder if people use some of these shades as like contouring and bronzer and if that was actually the intended purpose all along. It does say eyeshadow palette. But anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. I will just talk about one more thing, which is a book that I've been reading lately. I am also going to get this goop off of me. <laughs> be right back. Okay, so the book that I read recently, I don't have it physically because I actually read it on my laptop. It's research for my thesis. So it's called There's Something in the Water. Let's see if I can get a better picture. So I have actually been interested in reading this book since 2019. Basically, there is a documentary directed by Elliot Page, who you may know from Juno, Inception, The Umbrella Academy. And this was the first time that I learned about environmental racism, which is essentially, it takes many forms, but some examples are how many indigenous and African or black communities are located near landfills or by areas that have a lot of pollution. So municipalities and governments can get away with putting landfills very close to these communities or companies can get away with creating factories near them. And there's a lot more outrage when, you know, a really toxic company or like an oil pipeline is planned to go through a white community. There's a lot more outrage about that and usually gets stopped. However, there is not as much collective outrage and not as many obstacles in place when it is a more marginalized, often lower income community. So this book and the documentary focuses specifically on Nova Scotia, which is where the author Ingrid Waldron is from. She is a professor and writer. And yeah, so Elliot Page did, made a documentary because he is from Nova Scotia. So he focuses on a lot of the communities that he is familiar with. But yeah, all of the main characters are African, Nova Scotian or indigenous peoples. And that documentary, it is on Netflix. I would highly, highly recommend you watch it. It really, really opened my eyes. I saw it at TIFF 2019 and it just, that was one of those 
formative experiences for me in terms of documentary and one of the reasons that I decided to pursue my PhD studying documentary and that is environmental racism is actually going to be one of the things that I focus on in my thesis. So I was really excited to read this book. I'm so happy that I finally did. It was very academic. I don't know if I would have been able to get myself to read it if it wasn't specifically for research but I literally took I think it was like 45 pages of notes and this is only an 150 page book so I wrote down like half the book so fascinating so devastating so upsetting but something that people really need to know about this is an issue everywhere like particularly in Canada and the United States but this happens across the globe so yeah if you want something a bit more digestible definitely go for the documentary that is going to be it for today's video thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next week bye bye